Hello, welcome back to the Seven Sisters. Uh, we're down here in the tunnels underneath Seal Maintenance Station 2, where there's at least one guard patrolling. And I don't know, I don't really have a objective just now. Oh shit, he's gonna come this way and he's gonna see me. Yep! Well, as I said, I don't really have an objective just now. I'm uh, waiting really to see. Uh, I'm just exploring. Uh, we do have to utilize the power of the sister who lives in this part of town, but we have to find out who they are first. We might be able to get to the mechanist through the sewers here as well. And if so, I'll obviously loot that place and probably find out something there. Beyond that, uh, I've got to heal. Plague citizens, I know where three are, and I have four holy water vials. If I can get some of them together, given that I've knocked out pretty much all the guards, I can probably get two or three of them together, I hope. And if so, that means one holy water vial will work for the lot for the lot of them. Just had to cough there. Uh, but right now I'm in the other part of um, I'm exploring the sewers. Find out what's up. Find out where this fellow is going. Actually, let's knock this fellow on the head so we don't have to find out. And so he doesn't have to worry about hurting us with that nasty sharp sword of his. Here he comes. Yeah, there's no one here. Oh, his uh, land is attached too. That's great. Cool. His land goes out when it goes underground. Perfect. Um, hopefully, no one will find him there. Nothing. Nothing happening here. We've got. Where's this going? This is going north, and he was patrolling to the south. Right. Let's go north first. Quieter. And we're gonna need a key. It was just sewer maintenance station key number two key. Does that work? It does. It's just gonna get us anywhere useful or just somewhere we've been before. This here looks like it's somewhere we've been before. Wait, is this opposite opposite passage? Well, there we go. Is this just around the corner from Bethos? Uh, this is the uh, judge's house. Well, that's right, okay. Well, there's one thing worth noting here. Is uh, potentially we might want to go into the judge's house again. Well, the blackmailer said he was going to get uh, Abel and whatever the other thief was. He was going to get the thieves to look out for any valuable written material they might be able to get their hands on while in here. Uh, well, obviously not, obviously not like that. And to be honest, I don't think there is anything. Just on the off chance I missed something, I'm just going up here again. Um, and that they, he's just thinking of blackmail material, right? Not actually, not actually valuable loot. But I'm afraid there's not going to be any chance of blackmailing Judge Valley because uh, he's uh, dead. All right, there's just place here, but there's nothing here, right? Waste of time. I'm running, I'm from that ground very well before. I don't need to try it again. Let's go back to the sewers. So we've just made another connection uh, for the sewers there. That allows us back here an easy access back to Bassos. So that is good. Now what's this doorway? Yeah. 
And it's not the same key, is it? It's not going to be the sewer maintenance station key. Somewhere we're going to have to come back to it tomorrow. All right. Or whenever, whenever we can find our uh, square lockpick. Uh, oh, I'll have those. Bread? Where's the bread? Bread. Bread. Yay! Two hit points. Amazing. Alright, there's nothing here. This is just a guard station. And I've eaten his dinner. Alright, so I'll just connect back to the rest of the sewers we're in before. Which reminds me, I never did check out the sewers mate, station 1, did I? Alright, fair enough. For now... Let's go see what these mechanists are hiding in their sewers. I might need the breath potion here. No, I look short enough. Garrick can hold his breath for a good long while. Now we're going to have to go down again. Oh, down we go. And uh, some kind of works room, machine room. I'll leave that open. New objectives all of a sudden. Uh, Basso is here. Free him and make sure he gets home alive. Beware though, if you have not healed Genevieve yet, she could kill him. Well, I have healed Genevieve, but how do I know that? How do I know that Basso is here? Like, just from opening a door, that's just... Okay, we, I guess we did read the Doctor's Diary that said uh, it was the mechanist that had captured Basso. So that makes sense. And I'd forgotten that. If I'd remembered that, that would have given me a clear reason uh, to come here. But obviously, loot is a good enough reason anyway. You, sir. Come and hide in this dark corner here, Edgar. Oh wait, you were one of the ones that was mentioned uh, by name in Malthus's diary, weren't you? What do we got? Cell number one, Basso, accused of conspiring against the Mechanist Order, to be interrogated tomorrow by Priestess Maya. Yeah, I'm gonna need the key. You didn't have a key on you, did you, Edgar? Do you have a key on you and I just missed it? No, you didn't. Stay in the corner. Alright. Damn metal strips at the bottom of the doors. Yeah, he says, and then there's a whole metal floor. Let's not go that way just yet, then. Here are the cells. That's oh, just lights. Okay. That's so. Hey, Garrett. I'm here. Open the door. I will if I can. How come they didn't take that key off you? You'll have to wait a while. I need to find the lock. The key to the lock. And I need to make sure there's a clear route out so you don't uh, get destroyed by those turrets. Hello there. Just who I didn't want to see you. Another mechanist. You're not even coming far enough for me to knock you out, and you're, but you are far enough to be a real problem for my footsteps. Oh, okay, no, that's carpet there. Okay. How far do you go? Oh, there's another. 
He's all right. He's going back upstairs. Um, should be my moment, right? Now here comes the first one. Back again. Or not. I definitely heard footsteps. This door. Right, here's the first one. Don't know if I was able to get him from here. I wonder if he turns around too soon. Yeah, he does. Okay, I should be gone. Exactly what I didn't want. I thought you were going further away. He's run off to get help. Oh, I'm stuck. Get out, Garrett. Seriously. It's just a it's just a ladder. If he's gone off to get help... There was a servant there. Bloody metal gratings. Someone heard that, didn't they? Hear them breathing. Ah, oh, that's creepy. Now I wonder when this guard is coming back. You know, I hear heavy footsteps in the hallway. Maybe that's the one that's going up and down the stairs. Well, let's deal with this seven. We're in the corner. Thelma! I mean, I'm surprised they named you. The corner's not very dark, is it? Oh, that should be alright. He's our guard friend back. Before I was ready for him. Do you see what I see? Food. Right, so he goes in that door. back. Take that, foul weed, Archie. Glass. Nobody wants to, to buy glass. No fence wants to buy glass. Why do I want glass? However, I do want food. I absolutely do want food. One hit point. Well, all that for one hit point is still definitely better than two. If I hold 50%. Is that me? God, I thought I was creeping. It's a 
plunk, plunk, plunk. Glad to have this soft uh, carpeted uh, surface here. So I won't have to wake any sleeping mechanists if there were any. Come on, come on. There we are. A noisemaker. Great. Anton's journal. Who's Anton? I can't stand it anymore. If this keeps up, I'll have a nervous breakdown. I would have been better off accepting the job as a stableman from Lynch the Butcher. I fell for that damn poster. I want the for the builder's team, it read, letting me to expect such a bright future. Why is it then that I do not see anything bright on the horizon at the moment? We are here, patrolling the complex all day long, guarding who knows what. To be honest, I was also attracted by these uniforms. I imagined that I would be able to impress the ladies. I never thought that they would deduct the cost of the uniform from my wages, curse them. Life here would not be so bad if not for that infernal gadget which they like to refer to as the Acolyte Bell. As soon as it rings, we all have to stop what we're doing and gather in the chapel. There wouldn't be such a problem, but it happens that the High Priest Murdoch loves to see us suffer. He enjoys ringing the bell in the middle, middle of the night, and then hiding to enjoy the show. One time he did that, we caught the old fool crouched behind the altar, splitting his sides laughing. The bell is placed in the security room, but it is connected to the speakers all around the complex. We can't pretend not to hear it. As if it wasn't bad enough, sometimes the old fool locks the security door and he takes the key to his room so that we're forced to go up there to recover it. Brother Rufus says that we must be patient. Soon, Murdoch will be transferred to a more suitable place, and Karras will name the new High Priest. Rufus takes it for granted that the duty will be assigned to him, but rumours state that Karras would like to pass the honour to Priestess Maya instead. I would certainly approve this note motion. She seems a little less rigorous, and she's quite captivating. My cousin Clive, who joined the order with me, was very lucky. Maya was in need of a personal guard and chose him. I've barely seen him since then. In my opinion, he does something more than just act as a guard. But Clive chooses not to confide in me, so I wasn't able to find anything out. Oh well, at least there's one thing I like here. We are safe from that terrible disease which is scourging the population. At least I hope so. I've just found out that I might be moved to the factory this evening. I look forward to it. I hope that they will give me more important tasks this time. Right, Anton. And another scouting orb, all right. I almost never use them. Because I hate using them without being able to pick them up afterwards and uh, picking them up afterwards is sometimes difficult. And worse, if uh, it's a distraction, usually when I see there's an opportunity to make my move past the guards, I want to go right away. And the scouting orb takes time to turn off. Hello, anything in the loose? Scanning orb just takes time, but I don't really need to waste. Oh, it's a shower. Alright. Don't think there's any other guards in the immediate vicinity, but I'll be quiet anyway, just in case. Alright, so that's the kitchen and dining room for uh, these people. Now, there is somebody just going up and down these stairs. And comes out into the hallway a little. I don't know if they come far enough to see in this room. I better wait for them just in case. Gone. 
He has a security guarantee. Bastian. So I don't have to go find it from what's his face's bedroom after all. Well, that's good for me. Why don't you wait here, Bastian? You can be a bastion of safety for this. Alright, ah! This door, right. Okay, that's another handy way out for me. Security room. God, bloody tile floors, though. Still, there's valuables. It's worth a bit of risk of footfall. Noise. Take all that. Portrait of Karras. A couple of radiators. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here that I need. Another floor. Look at all this damn marble. Can't hear anyone in. Patrolling. Just gonna give it a minute. Because there could be longish patrol routes that come in here. Seems alright. here first. Chapel. Well, we could get everyone in here, presumably. If they weren't, oops, weren't already all unconscious. Actually, behind the hole to laughing, is he? Oh, hear some whistling. So there is somebody who goes out there. Do they come in here? It would seem not. The texture is lifting up there on the right as they uh, render a. does its weird thing. person before. Are they just wandering the whole way up there and can't see him but I would guess so. Guess they go quite a long way so. Someone else as well. What the hell?
Thanks for blaming the coffee. It's always good news for me. Security room key. Why did the door not open all the way? Is that just Garrett's, Garrett's ass in the way? Alright. Thankfully, the security room is nice and uh, quiet here. What have we got? Gate control, camera control. Well, let's have the camera off to start with. I think there's still two guards out there, so I'll leave the gate control for the moment. Acolyte bell. Lockbox key. Is that what we need? Brother Edgar, Priestess Maya has requested the lockbox key. You deliver it to her as soon as you see her tomorrow morning. She wants to interrogate the prisoner. Alright. Oh, there's a light switch in here too. This is going to make this a good, good hiding hole. Let's... Oh, let's close the gate. We don't want the guards outside seeing in. But let's get everybody else to the chapel. Alrighty. Only the two of you, right? Probably. Yeah. Question is, how long do you wait there? I don't know, so I better make my move quickly. I don't even know what I'm doing or where I'm going. Knocking you out, whoever you are. Rufus. You have another key. Do you? Well, I can't pick it up. In the name of the Builder, when did it ever become possible for a woman to become a high priest? Still, ever since she returned from that seminar in the city, everyone has been talking about her. Did the mighty Karis succumb to the glamour of Maya's beautiful eyes? I just can't believe it. That woman is not deceiving me. Her attire and her mannerisms are unusual and an evil aura emanates from that strange amulet she wears. Despite the fact that we all live here together, she secludes herself at night in her palace beyond the bridge. She doesn't allow anyone to come in. I'm sure that she's hiding something. Yesterday evening, she ordered two guards to go kidnap the old Hammerite priest. I don't understand. By now, the poor man is completely harmless. I did not oppose them, because after all, it never hurts to show those Hammerites the iron fist of justice. This new epidemic arrived at the perfect moment. The ensuing fear and chaos will help us impose order and discipline in town. I have already arranged to have that filthy brothel closed down and convince the mayor, Lord Clarity, to impose the curfew. He is very submissive. He didn't even try to object. When the plague will be sorted out, the city will be practically in our hands. The Hammerites are disappearing, and the pagans are not to be trusted, because by now the people are quite suspicious of them. The gangs of thieves who sneak around at night and the corrupt guardsmen are all helping our cause. The people will soon demand order and justice, and we will be the ones who shall give it to them. In order to gain power within the order, and to prevent Maya from becoming a high priest, it is essential for me to discover something which can discredit her. I was able to make a copy of her key, and as soon as I have the opportunity, I will sneak into her house. With a little luck, and with the help of the builder, I will surely find something. Right, that's a copy of Maya's key. That will be definitely of use to me. The strange amulet with an evil aura that she wears around her neck. So Maya is the sister who lives in this part of town. We need to get that amulet and her stone key, and then we need to destroy the amulet. I guess in that uh, font by uh, uh, by the Hammerite place. Now, are they still safely in the chapel? Let's hope so. Sleep. Sleep soundly. Can't open that, but we have healing potion! <laughs> Jumping for joy. We'll look at that. Six. Seven. Can we do eight? 
hit points. No, only seven. Still. Uh, and another holy water. Five holy water vials. Still only three victims I know of. Interesting. I wonder how long they wait in the chapel. So I kind of wonder if they will look in here and see this guy knocked out. So I'd better put him in the corner. Just in case. If they do... Okay, it's not tight enough. Maybe I should just close the door behind me, huh? Oop. I hear footsteps. We're actually going to go back here. Because I think one of them comes all the way down here. That'll give me a better chance to knock him out. They've done their standing in the chapel. The priest has done his laughter. Or at least I have done my laughter. Yeah. Easy to knock him out without the other one getting in the way. And uh, all this carpet. Alright, so you can sleep there. The bright light might make it hard to sleep, but you'll, you'll manage. She stares there, watching the watching the steps for a while. Walks to the end and walks back. How far does she come? I don't know. So the reason I couldn't hear them before was a sound propagation issue. All right, yeah, so I'll have to get her as she walks down the hallway. For some reason, the sound of the people up on the stairs here was not propagating to where I was standing underneath this place. Which is unfortunate for me. Sadie, you come this way. Sleep better, actually. In all that, I forgot to check these people's names. Edgar was in the other room. No, Edgar was down below. This is Trudy. This is Murdoch, the one who uh, abuses the acolyte bell to play tricks on everyone. And this one is Rufus. Oh, I did check Rufus's name. Okay. And who is in here? Anybody? Oh, metal. Quiet guy. Is this the bridge? That is the bridge. Okay. Come back away in a minute. So we have to go there. We also have to get. Uh, what is that? I don't know. We also have to get uh, Basso out of here somehow. Just wondering. I can't see outside from here well enough. But there's still two guards wandering back and forth there. However, if I go the long way around, I can come back in here through that gate easily enough. So before I let Basso go and have those guards catch him, I don't know if they would, but that's a risk, I will... Oh, I don't have to go all the long way. Okay, good. Um... Don't have to go back through the sewers. I will deal with those two guards. Now that the camera's off, the turrets won't wake up. So that leaves me safe to get the guards. Nothing but the guards to worry about. Once the guards are sleeping peacefully, then I will be able to... get G uh, Basso safely back to his house. Jennifer has been cured, so she won't be a, a risk, and all the other victims he might encounter on the way, I do believe, are, um, well out of the way, not in his path. Alright, 
Come on, blue man. Come up here, turn the corner. See if I knock him out right behind the statue so the green man won't even see him, right? Ooh. Not again. Definitely just the wind. It's always just the wind. Remember that. Just the wind. I am nothing but a figment of your imagination. Now let's quote from something else. Uh, this is Julius, and this is Jason. Sleep there, my fellows. All right. Metal bridge, loud footsteps. Before I go back in, let's explore this uh, square, St. Tenor's Square, which I've not been to. Oh, right, there's Main Station 2, yes, I've been there. There's this, Lord Julius Floating Mayor. Well, I can't get into his front door. Balcony there, I don't think I can access. Oh. Maybe I can get to the mayor. Why not try? I know, this is going to go down, not up. Probably. Well, maybe go to the mayor's basement. It seems to be under the mayor's house. This machine room. Rather. Rusty metal chest. And um, one more Hollywood, I guess. Six. What I don't know, what I didn't check in the readmes or anything, is does the equipment I have right now carry over to the next mission? Do I need to avoid squandering. Oh, the door doesn't open. Do I need to avoid squandering this holy water so I have it available for tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow night? I don't know. Anyway, that was another holy water. Nothing to sneeze at. There's another guard this way. And possibly another route back to the other part of town. Uh, they're not a guard, they're a victim, I think. With a sword. Is that the one I heard a long while back? Yeah, that would be, uh, and could see. Possibly I can open the gate to, to the market square there. Alright. Alright, this is uh, back to where I've been before, right? Yes, the dancing bar. Okay. Doesn't look like I can open that gate. But what about this door? Yeah, this. Oh, I can open the gate. And there's a note. Kevil, my father will go out of town tomorrow. I shall wait for you in our room at Mrs. Peacock's as usual. If the main entrance is closed, you can come through the Dancing Barrack pub. Neves. Is that you, Kevil? All right, so now we have a way for Basso to come. So let's look at where the known victims are. There's this guy. There's the one in the doctor's place, and there's the one down here. I want to ideally get them all together. They're the only victims I've found. Okay, I found Forrest. So I can hide that. Uh, they're the only victims I've found. Three. Three out of four in this part of town I apparently need to cure. Um, hmm. I wonder if I could get them all together. Maybe to Basso's house? 
No, in Basso's house, Genevieve's gonna be wandering around, right? Uh, somewhere right, somewhere that I can lock. Maybe Dr. Knox's cellar, if I can get them all in there. Uh, but, no, wait. The only way into the cellar was by a lift or a ladder. So she's gonna need her own holy water vial. I could get these two together. Lead them through the archway walk, through Oak Square. And get them up there. I was just wondering if I could just lock them together. Then they would be out of the way for a while. I could lead them both to sewer maintenance too. Which is here, right? No, here. If I lead them both in here, I could lock the door and they're going to be stuck there and um, there's a nice place I can run around there to get past them should be possible then to deal with them all together oh Oliver's clocks Oliver's ampersand clocks uh, oh, not that. Wrong button. Oh, I can't, can't pick it. Right, there's a guard in here first. Let's just make sure he's out of there. So, just in case they get frustrated and try to um, harm him, let's just make sure he's not hiding here. Ed. Ed, with your ghostly lantern, hovers in front of me. Sometimes. I don't think they uh, actually would attack an already unconscious body, but just in case, Ed can sit there. Right, let's let's lead this fool into. Let's check this theory. Let's lead this guy into the maintenance area. Hey, sword man, sword, sword zombie. That's right. You come with me. Got a nice little sewer room for you to hang around in. You're gonna enjoy this. Much nicer than outdoors. You'll be away from all these horrible plague victims. Such as yourself. You really don't wanna have to put up with all the other plague victims, do you? Come on, just down here. Not far to go. Just here. Yeah. I know you lose sight of me really easily, but uh, don't worry. Not far now. Also, this is nice and bright, which makes it very good for uh, leading them in. Yeah. You like it here, don't you? I know that's what your groan there means. Alright. I'm gonna lock him in. And I guess I need to lead him back. Just to test that he's actually properly locked in. Because if they can somehow get through the locked door, that will be bad for me. He shouldn't be able to. But he's going to need to be at the door anyway, right? Hey! If he can, if he can open that door, that's just going to, just going to be a nuisance, but he shouldn't be able to.
Should be good. Alright, one... This is, this is a silly idea, isn't it? But, uh, that's one locked away. And he's probably the one that would be on the way to Basso's house. Anyway. So, um... Probably better... For Basso's sake... That he's not in the way. That's not gonna break, is it? So, Market Square... Uh, what was here, by the way? Oh, it's just a gate. That's right. Okay. Market Square. And... I know it was... Wait, Bessus was this way. Yeah. This way. It's the Baker's. Here's Bessus' shop. Oh, I locked it again. That was silly of me, wasn't it? Shh, that's a shop. So, Jennifer, are you... You still okay here? Alright, Bassett's on his way. Don't worry. I'm gonna spring him out now. Alrighty, back to the mechanist, jump in the water, climb up the ladder, go to the security room, open the gate, blah blah blah. Then we can go free Basso, get him safely back to his house. And then what about these other victims? We've got one in two room two here. And one in... Go way up there. Near the other sewer. Quite near sewer room 3, in fact. Can I mantle that? I can. We need the ladder. Security room. Gates. Let's, let's let Basso out first, right? Where's the lockbox key? Yeah. He's been sitting in that uh, poor cell long enough. Let's open, let's just open them all. Hey. What's this key you got here, Basso? I'm very interested in this key. I guess it's your key to your house, probably. Yeah, it's not easy to run, all the guards are unconscious. You're not saying anything, Basso. Are you upset with me? Did I make you wait in your cell too long? So another, you know, half hour past when you've already been there all night. Where are you running now? Yeah. Just gonna follow you. Make sure you don't get. Oh! Why the hell did you go in the sewers? <laughs> I was... I was not predicting that. Why the hell did you go, Basso? I guess this does connect to your sewer, right? Somehow. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is the way you went. I forgot this connected. But what? Where, where, where did he go? Oh, this isn't this isn't Bassers. This is Doctors. Bassers is this way. Some thanks I get, Basso. You uh, let my prisoner go. Bassos? No, this is Bassos. Uh, right, maybe got him home alive. Da, 
dun, dun. Where's my Passos? Silver key. Is this all the things I get? Do you anything to say for yourself? No? Not a word of thanks, you ungrateful wretch. Not only did I rescue you, I cured your wife. Oh wow, she could have got out of here all along. Alright. Back, I suppose, to... <laughs> through here. Past our other infected friend. Honestly, I think I should cure the two of them together, but I really don't know if there might not be another to deal with. Back here. That's right. Let's lock you in again. I'm glad you didn't make your way out while I was busy uh, following Basso. Alright. Map time. Uh, I need to go to the north. I also need to go to the bridge and check out this, but um, uh, this is Maya's place. But first, let's go collect this other victim and bring them to sewer. The sewer maintenance too. If I can lock them both up there, then I know where to go to cure them later. And if I find a third victim, then I can try and bring them there as well. If I can keep as many people as possible in the lockup, it'll be easy for me to cure them en masse when necessary. Where's my map? Yeah, north, north. Luckily, when they're aggravated, they're pretty quick on their feet, so it shouldn't take too long to lead this uh, fine fellow back to sewer maintenance to keep the key handy. Hello, sir. You want to come this way, don't you? Yes, you do. Who's a good zombie? Yes, you are. Well, not really. You're not a very good one. I've seen better. But you'll do. Unfortunately, I don't have the key to Super Maintenance 3 there, or that would be an easier lockup for, for him, and I wouldn't have to do quite so much. Of this uh, shepherding, I guess. Garrett, zombie shepherd. Who would have guessed? As long as I don't get lost on the way, that would just be ridiculous. I check this fountain for water crystals, I did. Or, or there weren't any. Come on. Come here. Oh yeah, it's that, it's that Garrett creature, isn't it? I guess I'm pretty lucky that when Basso decided to go through the sewers that the other one, they didn't get stuck on the other one and it didn't kill him because 
the other one was definitely aggravated by him. I just thought he'd go out on the streets, not run through the sewers. Almost there. Don't worry about those guards there, though. They're not tasty. I'm tasty. Look how tasty I am. Guys, just patiently waiting. It's good, right? Okay, two of the plague victims locked up where I can deal with them later. So, uh, this seems like a very good place to end the episode. When we come back next, we're gonna go and investigate Maya's place across the bridge. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon for the next episode.